Hi, my name is James Woolway from Opico, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Opico Sward Lifter Grassland Subsoiler. After one of the longest and wettest autumns and winters most of us can remember, soil everywhere is in poor condition and grassland is no exception. Some grassland has had tonnes of water sat on top of it, but most has just been subjected to constant rain and excessive saturation throughout the winter. Having said that, the reason that uh, most soil is saturated isn't actually because of uh, the amount of rain um, and a high water table, um, it's generally because you've got an impermeable layer somewhere that the water can't get down and away through. This land that uh, is travelled on by machinery, livestock um, and, uh, and implements often develops uh, one of these impermeable layers that the water can't get through, um, through compaction. And it's this compaction that's the real problem and that, that uh, the sword lifter is designed to alleviate. The sword lifter can help in these sort of situations. It brings soil back to life. Uh, by allowing the, uh, the water to drain through, uh, it improves aeration, it improves grass growth and it also uh, prevents the same thing happening again next winter when there's lots of rain. So it's a long term and short term fix for your soil to improve productivity. Grassland subsoiling improves drainage, improves soil health and it maximises the quality and quantity of grass produced on your grassland. It also has a long-term benefit in preventing waterlogging and, and saturation again next winter. So it's a short-term and a long-term improvement for your grassland. Let's have a look at the machine. This is the latest model launched at Lama 2019. It has a few updates in to, uh, to make it a little bit easier for the operator to use, but all the same soil engaging parts um, as the original model. At the front we've got a heavy duty headstock, category 3, um, stowage points for the hydraulic pipes uh, and uh, as you can see substantial framework behind that to uh, carry the working parts. This is the front disc uh, which is designed to slice through the grass sward and root down to about 50 mil 2 inches and uh, prevent the leg that follows behind from bursting soil open because the leg's got a slit in the grass to follow. As you can see, it's a trail disc, which means it, it follows the ground well. It's also spring loaded with the red spring and fully adjustable to allow you to adjust the depth and galvanize. The lug that follows behind has a sharp shin and then point on the bottom that follows the uh, slot that the disc has made, opening it up and lifting and fracturing the soil underneath to create drainage and aeration. The shin and the point are both made from cast steel, extremely hard wearing, and the shin itself can be reversed top to bottom to double its life, uh, so keeping the, uh, the running costs from the machine down. This machine is a shear bolt version, as you can see by the black bolt up at the top. We also do a hydraulic reset version for more stony soils. At the back of the machine, there's the Prisma Roller. One set of Prisma Rollers follows each individual leg and disc, consolidating and nipping the soil back together to prevent moisture loss. Each Prisma Roller section has its own depth control and a spring to prevent damage to allow it to float over the soil independently to the one next door. This is important when you've got stones um, and very uneven grassland as it mostly is. The Prisma rings themselves are angled and uh, sharp so that they break any crust on the soil surface and nip the soil back together properly. There's an opportunity to sward lift now, but one, once the grass gets away, then the best times are really after first cut or in the autumn before the soil starts to get wet again. Then you get a little bit of fracturing and, and the soil breaks up underneath rather than just smearing when the legs goes, leg goes through the soil. There are three or five leg uh, models available from three meter to uh, 4.5 meter working width, as I said earlier, shear bolt or hydraulic reset. Please look at our website which has got lots of information about the sword lifter and videos of it working. Also got the details of our territory managers and dealers so you can contact one if you'd like a demonstration or for a price. Thank you.